Hi, first grade. It's Miss Bratman here today, and I have a super fun book for us to read. It's called Germs vs. Soap. Once upon a time, and maybe even right at this moment, there were germs on hands. Of course, germs are so tiny, you can't see them with your own eyes. But that doesn't mean they're too tiny to dream of energy cakes. There is, however, one thing that crushes a germ sweet cupcake dreams, soap. Germs absolutely, positively do not like soap. At germ school, germs learn how to be germy. The teacher asks questions like, why are hands the very best place for germs to be? Because if a kid picks their nose, they use their germy hands, and that's how we get in. Ew, kids are gross. That's right, eyes, nose, and mouth are like open doors for germs. And once they get in, it's time for energy cupcakes. Energy cupcakes? You're probably thinking, what are energy cupcakes? Well, they're not real cupcakes. You see, germs survive in bodies by gobbling up our energy. And when hungry germs see energy, it's like cupcakes. Energy cupcakes. Energy cupcakes. Once the germs firmly settle down, they reflect on the importance of being on hands. Lucky for all of us, we're on hands, unlike poor Bob way over there. How he gets so far away? The kid sneezes into his elbow. All germs know that eating lots of energy, all germs know that eating lots of energy cupcake makes them toot too a lot. The toot would be a silent toot, a medium toot, or even a loud trumpet toot. Germs don't care. They just have to be stinky because stinky toots gets kids sick. A sick kid will start sneezing and coughing so that the germs just fly out of there onto someone new. And you know what that means, more energy cupcakes. Energy cupcakes, can you see the little germs? Unless the germs find themselves right in front of the sink, probably because an adult told the kid to go wash their hands. Great, now the kid's on the step stool. The step stool, oh no, I feel, I feel faint. Oh, snap out of it, Arnold. Luckily for the germs, there's no more soap in the bathroom. Maybe the kids will just wash their hands with water. Water, ha 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 ha. Look at me, I'm so scared of water. But you are actually scared of water, Arnold. It's quite a celebration for germs, you know. If there's no more soap in the bathroom, in fact, it's officially called a no soap party. All parties must come to an end, especially when an adult is sniffing for soap smell. Uh-oh, it's the adult's nose right above us. Code 931, code 931, code 931. No! Wait, what's that mean again? Oh, for Pete's sake, code 931 is the sniff test, Arnold. It means we're going to get washed. It's always a good idea to double check before making any sudden movements. Is the kid on the step stool? Check. Are their sleeves rolled up? Check. Are they reaching for their soap? Check. Do they have a very serious look on their face? Check. If you check mark everything, you're going to get washed. Ah! 
Germs know to rush to safe zones. Well, some of them. Get between the fingers, under the nails, and on the back of the hands. Move it, move it. Don't fight the bubbles, just stay inside of them. We're going under in three, two, one. I know, get away from the middle of the palm. You're gonna get... Ew, this soap is cold and slimy. Whoa, it's just too slippery here. I can't even hang on anymore. Hey, you know what? This soap isn't too bad anyway. Go, go, go. The germs prepare to get scrubbed for at least 20 seconds. Rub your hands, palm to palm. Back of hands, two. Between the fingers, back of fingers. Don't forget about the thumbs. Under the nails. In all the commotion, the germs get distracted by the bubbles. Look at all the bubbles. It's a bubble blizzard. Bubbles? Pretty bubbles everywhere. They're so shiny. But none of them could prepare for this moment. Look, I see a bubble bottom. Oh no, we've lost our germy layer. Look at us, we're squeaky clean. Squeaky. Guys, watch out. It proves to be a little fun for some of them. Hey, look, I'm on a bubble. What's up, dude and dudettes? Don't mind me, just surfing down the line. What's wrong with him? Soap fumes. Bruh, is that a shark? Uh, you know, we're not really in the ocean again. Right, whoa, it got dark in here too, turned off the light. I'm going on a slide, Whee! This is a drain, Arnold. Oh look, it's an energy cupcake. Yum. That's old toothpaste, Arnold. That's, er, and, so the germs go down the drain. The end. It's not the end. There will be more germs. And there will be more soap. First graders, I now have a super fun science project to remind us why it is important that we use soap every single time we wash our hands. So if you see, I have a plate right here and it has water. I have some spices. These spices are gonna act just like our germs. germs. When we sneeze or cough, lots of germs can come out. So I'm gonna put lots of germs on my plate. Now, when I stick my hands in the germ, they touch me, look it. They are all over my fingers and that's not good. I don't want germy fingers. Now, I'm gonna add some more germs. When I put soap on my fingers, I have a cup of soap right here. I'm gonna roll my fingers all over the soap. Make sure the soap is covering all of my hands. Now, when I put my finger in the soap, watch what happens. Let's make a prediction. Do we think germs like soap? Or do we know that germs don't like soap? Ready? Watch. <gasps> the germs all went away. This is why washing your hands is so important. Now first graders, next time you go to the bathroom or before you eat, make sure you use soap to wash your hands. <laughs>